Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're doing something a little bit different. Now, currently we are on Lime's Mud Park, and we are in his C2100, aka his console-friendly Cat Eye Duramax. Now, we've gone with the lowered tailgate option, and we're actually down here in this loading dock because we are going to be loading the bed of this truck with RC trucks. And then we're going to take those RC trucks off-roading slash mudding to actually see see what kind of capabilities they have in comparison to maybe some full-size trucks. Now, I've never actually brought RC trucks out here on this map before, so I'm genuinely excited to see what they're like and what they can do. Now, in terms of the vehicles that we have, we have um, Max Mike 181's RCs right here, and then we also have one of Puppy Master's RC trucks, and we'll probably do the non-rear steer version of it. And as you can see, it is absolutely tiny. So let me go ahead and see what we can... Oh, right. I may or may not have forgotten that there are literally, like, no customization options on this thing. But you know what? That's A-OK -okay because it's hilarious to drive anyway. And it's like, oh god, it's actually quite fast. It's ridiculous how fast this thing is. Now, here's the cool part. We found out recently that you could actually pack these and pretty much pack as many of them as you wanted to onto any packable surface, trucks and trailers included. So I'm not going to pack a ridiculous amount of them in here, but I will certainly pack a decent collection. So let me get you up here-ish. I'm trying to get it off of like, oh God, I'm trying to get it off of like the little, uh, the little fender in the bed, but let's see if I can, there we go. Just reorganize you just a little bit, and we'll go ahead and verify that that first one packs, because it should, and there's the option, boom, and you get, like, the tiny wheel chocks and everything. All right, beautiful. I love it. Okay, so we'll let that one remain unpacked for now, and we're going to go back into the garage, and we're going to get our next RC vehicle. Almost said RC car, but these are more trucks than they are cars. Now, there is the, let's see, so there's the Duravan right here, and then the Duravan one-tenth scale. The one-tenth scale meaning that it's essentially, again, tiny. So let's see, overvolted electrical system, four-speed transmission, standard, uh, the, ooh, interesting. Interesting. So you could do... Oh, God. Okay, so apparently we need to rank up to get the Tega tires, but I'm not necessarily, like, worried about them. I'm just, like, curious. Um, I might run these. These TM2s, they look like kind of a... Almost like a Yar tire. Now, let's see. Oh, dude, you could do, like, so many different wheels on these. I genuinely forgot how many wheel options there were for these little things. Let's see how fast this is in comparison. It's certainly not quite as explosive in terms of power as, um, as Puppy Master's RC truck is, but really in terms of fun factor, I mean, like, you couldn't ask for better. You genuinely could not ask for better. We're driving little tiny RC trucks around in SnowRunner, and did I mention that this is all being recorded on console? We're actually playing on an Xbox Series X right now, so no matter what system you're on, uh, except for the Switch at the moment, uh, or at least at, at the time of recording this video, you could literally replicate this exact entire scenario. Let's move you right there. Shut you down. And... Oh my god. Okay, it's off. I'm always, like, confused on what actually equals engine off for these things. Pack? Oh, they all pack. I'm just kind of verifying each time to make sure I don't mess up the positioning. Because if you mess up the positioning, it can cause... Strange issues, let's say. Very, very, very strange issues. So now we're going to get the, let's see, uh, the Phoenix 1 10th scale. This one's going to get a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, the 14.4 volt, the 4 speed, and the, let's see, uh, could do the CTMS 1. Yeah, the Cat Telehandler tires. This thing is literally, I mean, it's literally a, a RC Trans Am. That's literally what it is. But I love it. Like, I haven't really spent all that much time with it. But, I mean, it, mainly because I've been driving other trucks. But stuff like this in SnowRunner just genuinely, like, it genuinely makes me happy. It genuinely makes me happy to see it. Not only as somebody that really likes, you know, really enjoys RC stuff in real life. But, like, just to see people thinking outside the box. I think it's, like, literally one of the coolest things you could possibly do in this game. There we go. All right, and I'm thinking... Oh, God. I was going to say, I'm thinking one more, but at the same time, I... Well, here, I tell you what. We will get one more, and it'll be one more... Um, Let's see. It'll be one more of the IXRC trucks. So let's go ahead and pack. They all do indeed pack. 
All right, let me unpack real quick. We'll get one more, and that's going to be another IXRC. This one will be with the rear steer, because our first one did not have the rear steer. So let's go ahead and find that one. So it'll be the IXRC truck with rear steer. And there's really no upgrades that you need to worry about. So, oh my god. The fact that it's got, like, a nine-speed transmission in automatic mode makes this thing a literal rocket ship when you consider how small it is. And you, as opposed to the other one, we are going to back you in. So let's get you... Oh, God. I was going to say, let's get you backed in without um, without completely uh, ruining our scenario here. And there we go. It's beginning to rain. That's, that's joyful. Can I pull you forward just a tad bit? Now, let me actually pull you back just a tad bit. It's it's not, like, exactly where I want it, but you know what? I'm not, I'm not going to worry too much about that. All right, change trucks. Now, oop, wrong thing. Hold on. It's probably going to be a lot easier just to switch to him from the map at that point, but let's pack him up. And at this point, they're literally all loaded up in the back of our Chevy. Like, that is so freaking cool. All right, let me put the suspension mode down. We're on the short lift, by the way. The short lift works really, really well for centering this truck on that particular loading dock. And now, actually, the funny part about it is that there, you can see there's a little bit of weight in the back of the truck. I mean, it's not all that much, but it's just enough to make the truck, like, you know, weighed down in the back just a little bit. I love that. That's brilliant. Oh, man. I need to see what that looks like in photo mode, because I bet you it looks awesome. Oh, dude. Actually, with the rain, too. I mean, the rain wasn't exactly, like, planned, but look at this. A little, like, actual just, you know, day having fun with RCs. That is the coolest freaking thing. I have got to get, I've got to get an actual, like, freaking picture of that. That's awesome. I'm genuinely taking a picture of that. I just took one. That is so freaking legit. I love that. I <laughs> absolutely adore it. All right. Let's go ahead and make our way out to some off-road areas now. And if we look at the map, we've got a swamp out here. We got a plane up there in the sky. We got the monster arena out here, which the monster arena is going to be a little bit over the top for any of these things. We got the main mud pits out here, and then we got the tracks over here. So I think we're going to actually get on the highway. We're going to go left. And once we get on the highway, I think what we'll do is we'll probably find a variety of obstacles for these things to take on. And I don't want to use all of them in the same place. You know what I mean? So, woo, easy. Let's not drive directly off the road. That would be a tad ill-advised. Just a tad. Do we need to stop for some... Ah! Oh, my God. I don't know why there's a light pole there. It just doesn't seem like the greatest place to put a light pole. All right. We'll go ahead and get... Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get some... Um, a little bit of food, some drinks for the road, maybe some fuel. And then, yo, y'all got a dirt road behind the gas station? What up? All right, we're going that way. That looks like an actual usable shortcut that won't genuinely get us into loads of trouble. And, you know, avoiding getting into loads of trouble on your way to, like, have a good time with uh, your RC trucks is uh, usually a good thing. I dig it. All right. Oh, God. If we sent this fast enough, it would definitely be a jump. But I don't think we should do that. I think that would be probably, once again, a bit ill-advised. All right. So here's our first little mud pit. Let's see how these things do. I need to find a good spot to unload them. Um, I want to just unload. If I could unload one at a time, that'd be the best. But I don't think I can do a one-at-a-time unload. I might be able to get away with backing up to a ramp like the one over there. But here's the thing. I don't think that that's going to work all that well. I think... Yeah, I think backing up to a hill like this is probably going to be my best bet. So let me unpack the trucks. And swap over to the... Uh, yeah, that IXRC truck. Oh, oh god. It's going to roll backwards, isn't it? It's fine. The center of gravity is in the ground. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And, yep, we're good. Don't worry about it. Dude, we're all good. We're going to take off now. Bro, this little thing's already making ruts. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is hilarious. It's already dug itself a massive hole. Now, granted, I know that this mud is a little bit deep for RCs, but I wanted to know how far they would make it. And one thing's for sure. Even if it didn't go that far, boy, is it trying its heart out or what? This is amazing. And the cool thing about it is the fact that you can bring them out here and just, like, you know, maybe not go all the way through the mud pits, but you can drive along the edges. You can still have a really good time. 
me put it into... Ooh. Low plus isn't too bad. It actually... It actually moves with some freaking speed, bro. Like, it moves way faster than I thought it would. Let me get back to some slightly harder packed ground right up here. And I'm gonna do something that I probably shouldn't do. And that's... Oh my god. Yeah, it's a lot faster than it should be. Okay, I'm gonna go off this little ramp. Now, the ramp doesn't look all too bad, and normally it wouldn't be, but for something this small, that ramp is gargantuan. May or may not have flipped it for a second. That's fine. Uh, could, could you, like, yeah, there we go. I was like, could you, like, please get yourself back on course? Wow. The gravity is so insane on these things that they just kind of fall straight to the ground. They don't even, like, they don't even really jump when you send them off a standard jump. They just literally fall straight to the ground. That's absolutely brilliant and hilarious. Okay, let me go back to the C2100 now, and we're going to switch spots. So, repack and fire it up. Yeah, they may or may not have, like, made their way to the front of the truck. Also, uh, quick cheeky little run through the mud pit. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Yep, it's all good. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Now... I think I'm going to back up to that ramp over there. That might be a slightly easier way to unload these things. I still don't know if that's, like, going to help or hurt, but it m it might do us a little bit of good. And you know what? If, if that's, like, oh, boy, if that's the best way to unload in this uh, general area, then that's what we're going to have to do. Okay, go ahead and unpack again. And we will swap to the Phoenix this time. Tent scale Phoenix. Let's back you out. Flop you over. And it's good to go now. Oh, God, you're driving it under the... You're driving under the Chevy. At least it's diff lock always on, all-wheel drive always on. But, um, you're, you're digging a hole that you might not be able to get yourself out of, little car. Come on. Come on. It's scrambling. Bro, it's freaking scrambling. Like, what a great... What a great place to see if these things will... Uh... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that, this is the time that you'd be putting your boots on and, like trudging into the mud to try to like get it out because i don't think in real life i don't think it'd be going any further because it's literally up over the car so before we go any further with that let me actually not pack those just yet try to get them off of the uh the front of the bed and let me circle around to the other side of this mud pit where there's a i mean i know i probably shouldn't be giving these things extra challenge already because Clearly, they, they haven't held up the greatest to, like, the challenges that we've tried so far. Now, that's not a dig at these rigs by any means. I mean, they're literally built for RC stuff, not for full-size mud park stuff. I just legitimately wanted to see what they would do in a place like this. And to finish this off, I think I have the perfect, perfect way. So, let me go ahead and shut the main truck down. We gotta unpack. I don't know why I always forget to unpack, but we gotta unpack. Okay, now, IXRC, no rear steer. Back you on out. It's going to do a backflip. And then it's going to flop itself right back. Oh, wow. Or not. Holy moly. Okay. It didn't want to flip itself back over again. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. You know why that's absolutely fine? Because we can yeet it. And I think it'll wind up back on its wheels again. Yep, it did. It did. That's the thing with these. is As long as you give them like a good send, they'll wind up back on their wheels. Oh, boy, that big ramp right there is going to be... That's going to be a bit of a... Not even a challenge, but a bit of just a full send, isn't it? Are you going to get any air? Uh, a little bit, and then it just... Oh, my God, it flop, 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 flop. And that was that. So, yeah, airtime, once again, was not the strong suit of this little thing, but, hey, it does fly until it gets into the deep stuff, and then if you put it in high in there, it literally just digs itself a hole. Oh, well, wait a minute. It's actually making its way out. Holy smokes. If you could, like, yeah, go back to the hard-packed stuff. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know one way to get this thing to disappear and get it to disappear freaking quick. There is a creek over here. I say a creek. Air quotes, creek. Um, that is essentially just a mud pit of doom. This mud pit has swallowed up entire full-size rigs on, like, 50 to 60-some-odd-inch tires. So this will quite literally disappear. Now, let's go through the middle bit right here. Oh, boy. Oh, this is going to be bad. And let's go. Oh, wow. Yep, yeah, okay. 
and the IXRC truck was never seen again. Now, if y'all enjoyed this video where we had fun with some RC trucks, took them out for uh, some running around in the mud, and just kind of RP'd out, you know, putting them in the back of the truck and stuff like that, let me know what your thoughts on this kind of video was in the comment section down below. And also, if you haven't tried this before, but you would like some new RP ideas in SnowRunner, I would definitely recommend trying out some stuff with the RCs. They are really, really, really fun. So once again, if y'all enjoyed, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new, and I will see y'all next time.